Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. I need my little notebook here. So I want to work on changing up my um, my inks because I've had the same inks since I don't remember when this was. This was way back in I want to say June. Yeah, or even before June. I don't know but it's been a while it's been way too long and i'm getting sick of the same inks so i actually will be cleaning out these pens right here so actually these one two three four five and six so luckily this and this are pretty much out i think and then these um have some inks left in them which i can honestly i put it back in the bottle because yeah um so yeah i'll just clean those out and then this is the lineup that i'm thinking so in this one i still have glistening glass but like I want to take it out and put a different one in. So I'm going to be cleaning this one out as well. But it will be part of the new lineup. Because I have to have um, a shimmer ink. At least one. And I always like to put my shimmer inks in my Twisby. It's just so easy to clean. Okay. And then in this one, I actually switched out the, the ink that's in here. I currently have Ferris Wheel Press Lady Rose in this one and I think I like it better because I had the Colorverse A Sagittarius in this and I feel like the Colorverse is a bit more like it's wetter than Lady Rose and this is a, a bigger nib so um, it just kind of looks not as great with my small handwriting so i switched to lady rose and i think i like it better because it's not as wet with that ink so that's gonna be staying because i really want to play with this um new pen i really love the nib it's just so fun and so smooth okay and then this is the sailor solar term um pen i forget I think this is taco correct me if i'm wrong um but it's the summer one and i it just reminds me of strawberries and cherries and i love it so i want to ink this up i'm not sure what i'm gonna put in it yet the ink that it came with is rather too red for me so i might i don't know this is a a fine nib i usually don't like putting a fine like a shimmer ink in a fine nib i mean this one is a fine nib the sailor but this oh no not this one this one but this is the um the more inexpensive um sailor so i don't know i've always kind of i don't know maybe i don't know i'm hesitant to put a shimmer ink in a 14k gold <laughs> sailor nib okay that's a fine if it was a medium fine i feel a little bit better of it with it like not clogging and stuff but with it being a fine i just i don't know i don't know so i'm not sure what ink i'm gonna put in this yet i'm thinking i'm actually thinking um november leaves the one that i shared with you recently because i i need a brown right so, that might be it. That might be it. Um, okay, so, and then I have this. I haven't used this since last summer, and I, I want to before the summer ends. And in this pen, I'm thinking I'm going to put Storied Blue. I think this is what I want to go with. I have to swatch this and see. But I think this is the ink I want to uh, put in this. Because I want a blue that I, I will use um, in my journals. And then this one still has Oyster Hour. I I love this ink. And I think... I'm not sure if this is almost done. Um, oh, is this Oyster Hour? There's still shimmer in this. I think I had... Um, 
I had a different, uh, I had a different ink in this and I didn't clean it as well. So I think it still has some shimmer from Vinta Isabella, but it's really oyster hour. <laughs> I'm just kind of like, mm, it's fine. Um, so it does have a little bit of shimmer, but see, with this one, this is a medium fine. I am okay with putting shimmers in a medium fine because it doesn't get clogged up or anything like that. So I'm okay with that. Um, so that's that one. I'm not sure. I think this will stay Oyster Hour because I need, a, what's it called, like a neutral option. So that's that. Ooh, you know what? This is, oh wait, what's this? This is a medium fine. Maybe I can do, because I have this ink that I just got and I really want to use it and it's so pretty. <sighs> okay, so these are the inks that my friend Elaine sent me. Thanks girl, I love them, I'm obsessed. I, I need, I have them in my cart. I have Vayu, Suku, Yomi, um, and Dewey Starlight and 12 Nights. So pretty much all the wear and gold that's on here I have in my cart currently right now because I just, I love it. So anyways, like I was thinking Dewey Starlight but that's a little too green, isn't it? And then, and then so I was like, oh, maybe Celadon because that's a little bit more blue but it's really green. You know what I mean? Mm, so maybe not. Maybe not. I do have this one. Um, this is Itazora. I have to... I don't know. So, it is Zora or Story Blue. We're gonna just, I'm gonna swatch them before. I, I don't remember how they go on. But I do want a blue ink. But also, I want to use those inks. You know what? Mm. Yeah, so in the Twisby, I'm either, I'm gonna put the Celadon. Yeah, I'm gonna put the Celadon. And I, I wanna use a Caveco. You guys, when's the last time I used a Caveco sport? And I have. Um, I only have six now. I went from, I think, like, 11 or something to six. Um, and I want to use my blue one just because this is the lineup that I haven't, I'm thinking about. Like, look how cute this lineup is, right? I think that's pretty cute. I have my blues and pinks and, you know, the white to break it up with. Um, so yeah, I, I want to, I want to use this ink. So maybe with this one... I don't know. I feel like I thought I had a blue, like a a baby blue. Maybe should I do a baby blue? I do have samples for like baby blue inks. Where is the? Hold on. I have a little swatchy swatch of all the blues here. Okay. So like, see, I have blue cotton candy, dusk and bloom. Ooh, let's do that. Let's do Dusk and Bloom. I'm going to go and grab it. I only have um, a thing of it, like a little sample of it. But I think that's a good one. Dusk and Bloom by Ferris Wheel Press. But yeah, see, that's all the blue that I have. Blue Bear Tonic. Oh, what's this one? One more sleep now. Okay, Dusk and Bloom might be it. And Story Bloom. Alright, so I have that. Let's go ahead, put this guy aside. I'm gonna go and set these aside. I love my little lineup. I think that's so cute. Okay, I have my pinks and, you know, my blues. All right, let's swatch it first. I'll do all the cleaning stuff last, like towards the end. Set those aside for now. Got my water here already dirtied it up because I was doing other things. Okay, so I have this page that I can use. I'm just gonna swatch the blues here with my Kakimori. I love this. This is, oh, what took me so long to get it? Seriously. It's such a good, um, such a good swatcher. If you want to swatch inks, highly recommend. I love this and and the pen nib. I still have the pen nib on the brows. Um, on the brows, what's it called? Pen holder. So, anyways, okay, come in closer. So, I this is the Celadon that I'll be putting in the Twisby, and then this is November leaves, which I'm really thinking about 
putting that in the solar term sailor pen okay now into this i'm gonna do dusk and bloom first this is by ferris will press and yeah i only have a, a sample of it because it was one of those things that i'm like do i need it you know Hmm. That's pretty. But I think it's too blue. We'll see how it dries down. See, I don't like anything too bright. You guys know that. So I like more of like a dusty blue or something. And I think... Oh. Okay, I'm not even going to say what I think right now. Because I feel like it's changing already um, as it dries. And I really like these um these kakimori nibs just so impressed really have been enjoying them and like you know <laughs> so worth the money especially when you can really see see how the inks should per perform Okay, see, see, I think it's a little too bright. I think I like more of a, um, I don't even want to say lighter because then it'll be really hard to, um, read. But, I don't know. I'm leaning towards it though because it's not as bad as some that I've swatched so I don't mind this and I think this will look good um, with the inks that I'm thinking about you know I don't know if I'm making sense I just I want a blue but I want more like a Dusty blue, but of course legible. So that is Dusk and Bloom. Okay, so I have two more to choose from, so I think we'll be okay. But um, this one is Sailor Itizora. This is one of those um, colors that kind of like changes too, depending on depending on the paper that you're using. But this is one of those inks that I. I actually really like and I have used it quite a bit when I did get it like when I first got it it's a really good one okay, okay so maybe not this one because um, again I'll wait till to say what I think Okay, so waiting for that to dry. This last one is Storied Blue, and I remember really liking this when I was looking for that perfect blue um, last summer. That's why I got a bottle of it. Um, but <laughs> I actually haven't used it since, as you can see. It's still new in a bottle. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's just watch it and see oh boy Ok, 
Okay, I got a clean syringe because this one right here still has a ton of ink. So I'm just going to suck it up and put it back in there. I go through a lot of syringes when I do this, guys. Because I don't want to contaminate the ink, especially when putting it back in a bottle. So another, um, what's it called? Another <laughs> bottle. And I only have, um... I think it is. So you know what? I think what I'm going to do, this was in the sailor. I think I'm going to try to use that up and put it in here since I don't even really know what to put in this. So I'm going to put Gushikiyama ochre in here. No, I really want my, I really want November leaves. Mm. Yeah, no. So let me grab this one. Okay, hold on. Oh, these are okay. I don't need that. Two. Oh gosh, come on. There we go. Alright, so that, that, this one I'm going to have to put back in the, in the, what's it called? I'm going to have to put it back. Yeah, in that one. Okay, so Goshikiyama Okar. Okay, only have a thing of that. Yeah, only have a, a sample of that, so I don't want to waste it. I really like that ink. I used it quite a bit in my journals. But, I mean, that wasn't even a lot. It looks like a lot in the in the thing though, oh my goodness, okay, whatever, that was kind of pointless, okay, alright, and then, oh, let me close that, this green one, is this I'm just going to push it out there's like barely any in there okay and then we got Lady Rose I don't know if this is going to come out if I just do this. I don't know. Okay, hold on. Let me poke it. Okay. Good enough.
I'm going to do Dusk in Bloom for my blue pen because looking at my swatches here, that is the true blue, really. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to put November leaves in my, my taco by Sailor Pen. So here we go. Right, guys here is my lineup this is what I decided on um, last minute change was the Caveco I went with the sage Caveco instead of the the blue one because I, I kind of felt like I needed a green also I really wanted to use the Ferris wheel press Hampton Harbor Sage ink. This is such a beautiful ink. I just really really wanted to use it and I think it's perfect for the summertime or what's left of it. <laughs> also, I realized I didn't really have any other blues that I actually really liked to go well with the Caveco blue. Um, the pale blue was just, I don't know, I just didn't have anything to match it. So anyways, this is the lineup right here. I have six currently inked. Um, will I be adding more later on? Who knows? But for now, this is them and I'm in love. Of course, I have a handful of sailors. I just, I love my sailor pens. They're kind of my favorite. Um, one thing I might be adding into this is a plat, either a platinum or one of my pilot decimos. I'm missing those pens. Like, not I'm missing as in they're lost. Like I'm missing them as in I haven't used them in a while and I, I have the urge to use them. I just don't know what ink to put in them right now. So for the meantime, this is the lineup for the rest of summer. I think I have a pretty good variety. So we're actually going to start off with the Caveco Sport. This is the one in Sage. It is the Caveco Collection. By the way, let me... Let me put some cuticle oils because my nails be looking crazy. I usually do my nails every um, every week, but I honestly haven't had the time this summer. Um, I've been doing them like every, well, pretty much every month. So yeah, they go on for about three weeks is the minimum nowadays instead of a week I just I just don't have time plus they get ruined in the garden so I I don't even feel like I should do them as often anymore you know so anyways cuticle oils help with with the dry cuticles and they're not super outgrown yet this is going on this is a week I want to say and I've filed them down and everything so they don't look too crazy all right Anyways, all right, we're back. I apologize for all the intermissions and if this video is so long. I feel like lately my videos have been super long. Let me know if that's something you guys like or don't like. Um, I just feel like, okay, this is like sidebar before we get into these. Um, so I don't know if you guys noticed I didn't upload for a while or like I wasn't on schedule. And it's because one, of course, we've been really busy. It's been a busy summer but on top of that I feel like I was putting too much pressure on myself and like oh you need to do this and this and this and this and I'm just like it it just wasn't fun anymore for a while and I I didn't want that feeling so lately I've been filming again I don't know if you guys noticed and it's more like I've been filming a lot of journaling with me actually which I've been really enjoying just sitting here journaling, catching up on my journals because I was so behind and I just love it. And then like talking about stationery and just, you know, I love this and just like casual, like if you're sitting here with me, I don't know. I just feel like sometimes um, 
when I want to be more proper in videos or like I want it to be so informative and stuff like that. It's just not fun, you know what I mean? So anyways, I hope you guys have been enjoying these recent videos, I guess you would say. So, okay, back into this. Um, sorry about the little sidebar. Um, okay, so first up is the Caveco collection. This is the Sport. Cute little pocket pen. I haven't used a Caveco since, oh my gosh, last... I want to say last summer, so I kind of am really excited about this. All right, guys, I was having issues with the Caveco Sport. It was already clogging, but I think I fixed it. I took the ink out and put new ink in. There's still some shimmer in the converter, but not as much. So I think this should work now. Yeah, I think it shouldn't get clogged up too much now. So here we go. This is my Caveco Sport Extra Fine Nib with a Shimmer Ink by Ferris Wheel Press. Oh yes, now it's working. Oh yeah. Now you can see it. Woohoo! I love that. Yeah. That looks much better and smoother. No skipping. Oh my goodness. Caveco Sport Sage. And this is with an extra fine nib. And this is Ferris Wheel Press Hampton Harbor. Sage. I love this color so much. It's such a good color. I can really see myself using it. It's like really light but so legible. I'm very happy with that one. Okay, next up I have my Twisby, which I always have a shimmery ink in here and it just is just so good with any shimmer inks that I put in here. So this is um, Dominant Industry in the Celadon one. So here we go. And yeah, this is with an extra fine nib. I love it. I never have any issues. It's such a good pen. Like it's just so smooth and it really showcases like you can really see the shimmers you know so I really like that again never having issues with this so it's the 580 diamond with extra fine and dominant industry I don't know how to say this word. And then Celadon. It's just stunning. So pretty. It's hard to show you right now because the ink is still wet. But once it's dried down, I can um, go in a bit closer and maybe show you the, the shimmer. But so pretty. Okay, next I have my Sailor in Graceful Crane. This is a gorgeous blue. Another pen that I haven't used since last summer. And this actually has a medium fine nib. And I ended up putting dusk and bloom in this one i really wanted a blue ink in this and this is the only blue that i really liked so this is sailor um this is a pro gear slim i'm pretty sure it's graceful crane oops i spelled it wrong And it's medium 
Pine, and this is Ferris Wheel Press Dusk in Bloom. So earlier I swatched, you know, the three blues that I thought I would like, and yeah, I don't like it to Zora. It's too purpley green. And then Storied Blue, I thought I'd like that one. Maybe in the winter time, this kind of blue is pretty. Um, but yeah, I really like how um, Dusk and Bloom looks. So that's what I went with for this pen. Like, look at that. Such a good match. And sorry about my misspell. <laughs> but woohoo. Really liking that. Really think I'm going to use that in my journals and it's going to look great. Okay, next I have this one. This is my other sailor in Taco from the Solar Term series. And this one is actually with a fine nib. And I have my new ink in here by Dominant Industry. November leaves. And I just, I just love it. I love it. I, I couldn't wait to use it. So Pro Gear Slim. I'm pretty sure this is the taco one. And find it. And this is Dominant Industry November Leaves. I just love the shade. It's such a pretty color. Obsessed. Okay, and this one is my other sailor. This is the mini, and this is actually something that I had inked already. And it's not done yet, or close to, so. Just brought it in. <laughs> so Sailor Pro Gear. Slim Mini. This is the one for the month of April. And this has medium fine. And I'm pretty sure what's in here is Ferris Wheel Press Oyster Hour. Ooh, my phone's going off. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I feel... <laughs> You see the shimmer on the Oyster Hour? It's because, I think I mentioned it, but when I put in, I had a Vinta Isabella in the cartridge of this one, and then it ran out and I was too lazy, so I just put in Oyster Hour right into that cartridge. cartridge. So, literally, this is kind of a mix of that. That's why it's, it's looking a little pinky, it's looking a little darker than what Oyster Hour should be, but I like it, so whatever. <laughs> I just, I was just lazy, okay? And last but not the least, I have my Peniter. And this currently has Lady Rose by Ferris Wheel Press. And this nib is just so fun. I've been just kind of playing around with it. Definitely love writing in cursive with this pen. It's good. Niter, is it? I always forget how to spell it. Okay, yeah. E I My Peniter. I'm just gonna do that and then this is extra fine. And yeah, Ferris will press Lady Rose. Such a fun nib. Seriously, look at this. I love doing this. So that is that, you guys. That's all of my inks right now. I'm going to go back on this. This is sage again. I just want to see if it <laughs> got clogged again. Um, 
See? Look at this. I have to redo my sheet because it, look at that. Look how horrible that was writing. Oh man. I was just going to leave it, but I couldn't. I couldn't. So. Oh yeah. Okay. So if you guys are using a Caveco Extra Fine and you want to put a shimmer ink in it, just make sure you don't suck up too much shimmer that it will cause it to clog because this is much better. Yeah, that's good. All right, so that's it, you guys. That is my currently inked. Currently have six pens, and I'm pretty happy with the colors of everything. Yeah, I love the little lineup. I feel like it's colorful enough for summer, but also pretty neutral where it wouldn't be too much on the eyes on my spread because you guys know me, I don't like anything too bright. So this is great. I love it. Um, yeah, so... Again, we have, let me see if we'll focus, there we go. So, Caveco Sport Sage Extra Fine with Ferris Wheel Press Hampton Harbor Sage. Didn't really get any shimmer on there, but it is a shimmer ink though. Okay, um, oh no, there's some shimmer right there. Can you guys see? It has silver shimmer. It is so pretty see that oh wow i love it okay and then next we have the twist b 580 diamond um extra fine with the dominant industry gorio celadon ink oh, look at that look at that i just love the shimmers it's so subtle but it's so pretty okay and then we have my sailor pro gear slim um in the graceful crane color medium fine with ferris will press dusk and bloom and then another sailor with a fine nib with the dominant industry November leaves color or ink. And then the mini with the medium fine with oyster hour ish. <laughs> and then my pinnider with Lady Rose by Ferris Will Press. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this mess of a video. <laughs> Had a lot of fun playing with inks, trying to figure out what um you know what to do for this lineup for the rest of the summer it's, it's like i wanted summer colors but nothing too crazy you know what i mean um also was able to clean all the pens um so these are all the nibs and the converters that i have drying i always let these dry um not even just overnight but like for a few days so tomorrow i'm going to go back and flush them one more time and then I let them dry again because as you can see the paper towel right there has some colors still so I feel like I didn't get all the inks out so I'm gonna have to flush it again tomorrow morning but these guys right here on the side with the converters and my syringes should be good to go for tomorrow um, but yeah so anyways that is it I will link and list everything in the description box down below for you guys if you're interested loving my pen keys i think this is so pretty and i just love it i love how each pen has its own like little house and it's totally safe you know what i mean so that is it thank you for being here if you have any questions video suggestions feel free to leave it in the comments down below like usual i'll have everything listed and linked in the description box so check that out all right until next time bye